So guys, we are here on Red Feather Falls to test out the newest gun here in the Hunter Classic, the 7x64 rifle, and it looks really, really good. I'm quite impressed uh, with the model of it, but we have a special guest with us, Jackson Beard. He's going to be helping us out with the testing process. Uh, what we're going to do first is here at the range, look at the loading animation, do a bit of shooting to test out the fire rate, and then we'll try it out on live game. But if you want to check out Jackson Beard's channel, there's a link in the description below, so be sure to check that out, uh, and let's get on with the test. Looks pretty good. I think it's the the Anschutz animation, like the 8x57, 9.3 and such. Okay. Do you want to switch spots and then you can see it and I can see it Ooh, in the very sun? Very nice. Oh yeah, that is awesome right there. It's a gorgeous gun, it really is. I like it. Wow. I like it a lot. That is something else. They've outdone themselves with this one. Yeah, I really do think it's one of the best looking guns. The wood is really well designed. You can almost see the grain. You can see the grain in it. Indeed. Wow. This looks just like my 30 odd 6 Remington 700M. Oh, I need to go shoot. All right. I'll tell you what. Mm -hmm. Throw around at one of these uh, targets out here and I'll watch the third person shooting animation. That's something I've never had in one of these field tests. Oh, fan. Fantastic. Well, I'm going to shoot this moose over here in the background because it looks like it needs a nice shot in the lung. Yeah, I think it was asking for it. Ooh. Wow, really? Go ahead and work the bolt. I want to see that as well. It's just, uh, press R. Oh, yes. <laughs> I like it. God, it sounds good. I am going to turn auto reload back on for this. And I'm going to do what I always do and just spam my left mouse button. If you want to get on the right side of me, the sun will be hitting the gun better. Uh, yes. And I am just going to see how fast this baby can shoot. There we go. Not bad for a bolt action. Really, it wasn't bad. Well. That was amazing. Wow. It just looks fantastic. Yeah. I don't think we can do much more waiting. I think we have to shoot some live game. Yes, we do. These aren't moving. It's not fair. It's true. That's not a bad one at all. 145 to, to 170. Oh, actually... Yeah, I couldn't see there. That really doesn't look too bad. Look at the rack. I'll tell you what. I think you ought to shoost him. Alright. Whenever you're ready. Very nice. Beautiful. Not to Let's say... Yeah, not to say I didn't expect <laughs> it to drop a white tail, but good to see that it does. Absolutely, it seemed to do it with authority there. I gotta tell you, Flinner, I'm liking this gun. I love the sound of it. It's, it might have the most unique sound in the game right now. Not a half bad buck either. I'm quite happy with that. There we go. Good way to start things off. Well, the gun works. <laughs> it does. What do we got? Right in the heart, a 162. Well, that's okay. I don't think I'll mount that, but... Nonetheless, there's a white tail buck out there, and I'd kind of like to try the distance shot instead. Moose will be pretty easy to find and get close. That's about as far as I'm going to get to spot a buck, I believe. While he's moving around out there, though, I don't really have anywhere I can see him. So I'm going to give him a call, actually. Yeah, you got him there? Yeah, I sure do. Alrighty. He felt that. I saw the bullet hit him. Oh, he sure did. Gave himself a little shake to the side. Yeah, I'm not sure if I was a bit far back with that. I did shoot while he was walking. A little bull. And the buck's right here. So, can I actually see where I hit him? Because I'm guessing the shot's my fault. I cannot. No... It is just straight body, so I would say I just had a poor shot. 
but, I mean, clearly it's pack and power, because it ran how far on a Fleshwind? Like, 100 meters? Yeah, not too far, so, I mean, that says a lot about it. It does. Take my time. You got him there? I certainly do. Alrighty. That's better. <laughs> Figured it was just my fault on the last one. 120 out, and shoulder blade right lung, so the single lung shot drops him as well. I'd like it to be as close to broadside as possible, so you're going through as little flesh as possible till we know what it can do, but right here is about as good as you're going to get. Go any further, you're behind the tree a bit. Pretty sure you can get that shot in there. Hey, look at that, there's a cow sticking up behind us. Huh. Go figure. <laughs> I'm not surprised. All right. Let's see what now, she can do. I don't know if I'm going to double punch the lung here, but I'll certainly give it a shot. Yeah, see if you can get it. You ready? Yep. <laughs> I heard that. Shh. All right. So the question is basically... Uh-oh. <laughs> the question almost was, was the moose going to kill us, or uh, not, but she ran away. <laughs> well, I felt as if I was on a bit of an angle and only got the one lung. We'll find out here, but... That's what I'm curious, to see if you got both or not. Nope, he's still running. That is a bit disconcerting. Body shot. Yeah, that was him that I heard over there. He's running this way, I just saw him. Um, you definitely hit him again. Well, he's running a little cockeyed. Yeah? I would have thought he'd gone down by now, to be honest. This might not be the best moose gun. Uh, if the bush will get out of my way, I'm going to see if I can catch lungs here. Don't move, please. I think that should be. But... Only one way to find out. She is still running, and I don't like that. Uh, hits on the body and intestine, and it is a botch kill. Um, I'm not so sure, because I would have thought I should have had at least one lung on my cow. Actually, I, I did get lung blood, so it is doable. Although, I'm not too sure about double lung. I can't see double lung her making it even that far. Although, I'd actually like to see that I caught both lungs just to know that that's what happens. But, I did not. Just one. Definitely a hit. And she's at her ender that fast. Yep. I marked the spot. It is body, the same as I had on that buck at 170. Alright, in that case, I do want to try shooting at this one just to see. See if I can get him. For it. Well, that worked. There you go. So... I don't know. I don't know if the gun lacks range over like 150 meters if you're losing so much penetration. Uh, or if you just have to have that perfect shot really to, to get the penetration, but just doesn't have penetration in general. It's a good question. I'm, I'm not too sure on it yet. I've only had a couple shots out here, and uh, they haven't been the best thus far, so... Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not overly impressed, I'll say that. I will say at this stage of this game for me, I'm comparing everything to my 30R, which I'm absolutely in love with, and... At the moment, well, you know, I've had an awful lot of luck with that one so far. Yeah, there's not much the 30R can't kill. But you know, I I think I had this lined up to catch both lungs. I'm going to go to the trophy shot here uh, and take a peek. I don't see that I shot over the left lung. I believe I should have caught both if the penetration was doable, and I did not. I got one. Very nice. Took him in the spine. I mean, it's definitely not a bad gun. Like, it's got power and stuff behind it, but... I'm not sure that it's something you want to grab 
you know, if you own the 30R, or if you own the the 9.3, I don't see that it's got advantages over them. And it's a heavy gun. It's for capacity, which is a lot. I don't know. I think something would have to be altered, and you know, I don't, I'm not saying it's gonna be, but um, I think something would have to be altered for it to really have an advantage. But I mean, it looks good. And it certainly does. That is a huge part of it. The 7 mm bullpup is one of the best guns in the game, but it's incredibly ugly and not a lot of people like it. So, at that range, double lung is doable. I'm getting double lung, so I'm gonna go with the longer range shot to see what I can do. Yeah, I think it's a distance thing. I got double lung on that one, but I am not getting it on the far one. I'm fairly confident in my shooting, and I, th I think about 40-50 meters is as far as you're getting both lungs on the miss. So this is an interesting one. It seems like it's got penetration uh, up to about 50 meters, and then you're starting to lose uh, quite a bit of it. We had the problems, uh, even with the deer, uh, shooting over like 150 uh, and then with the moose, I wasn't able to get both lungs shooting the targets here. I was able to under uh, 50 meters, so uh, quite honestly, I don't see any real advantage to getting this gun if you own something, let's say, like the 30R uh, or the 9.3, one of those powerful weapons. Being that it takes up uh, four capacity slots, it's really not like a light weapon you can carry around uh, and be able to get away with carrying other equipment as well. So if you're a weapon collector, uh, it is a nice gun. It looks really nice, uh, and it'll definitely get the job done. Obviously, you can go for heart shots on the moose. Uh, I was just interested in seeing what kind of penetration you could get, uh, or if you could drop them with the double lung, but it's hard enough actually just to get uh, that double lung shot. So, uh, yeah, would I recommend the gun? Uh, not if you're not owning most of the other weapons. Uh, quite honestly, I don't see it, as I said, as having an advantage over most other big game uh, rifles, but as I said, it does look really good. I have to give it that. It's one of the nicer looking weapons of the game. Probably the nicest looking wood grain weapon. Uh, I do have to say that. But with that, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.